The internet search giant Google is among a number of companies hoping to cut a big slice from the profits of Australian banks. They hope to win customers over with new and cheaper internet-based technology to pay bills and do banking. The Bendigo and Adelaide Bank held its annual general meeting today with management warning that was just one of the challenges facing the banking industry. Emily Stewart reports. The Australian banking sector can't hide from events in Europe but with no direct involvement in wholesale markets, the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank has fared better than most. Direct impact on us seems to be that it confirms Australian consumers that they'd probably be wise to get rid of a bit more debt. We see borrowings being reduced at quite a rate as people step up their savings levels. Despite global economic woes, in May, Bendigo Bank was one of the first banks in the world to receive a ratings upgrade since the global financial crisis. Our new ratings position the bank well for future growth, in part by reducing the cost of our wholesale borrowing, but importantly by opening up access to new markets. If we continue to improve our profitability, then we feel confident further credit rating upgrades can follow. Expectations of growth in the banking sector have shrunk, but Bendigo Bank is continuing to grow through its purchase of Rural Bank and with a further 50 community banks in the pipeline. But it hasn't all been smooth sailing. Last year I brought it up, about the $3 million that was uh, wheeled away into poker machines by one of the managers of a bank. What happened to that? Well, that, uh, that was fully investigated. Uh, there were charges laid by the police and so um, that will work its way through and as a result of that particular fraud there's a number of changes that are being made to systems and procedures in the branch network to close off that loop. The bank is also facing a new wave of competition. Managing Director Mike Hurst believes services traditionally the domain of the banking sector can now be taken over by other companies. Companies like Google and PayPal are competing with banks through new and cheaper technology. Similarly, Banks Simple in the US and the mooted arrival of Movin Bank, a paperless, cardless, fee-free bank, are utilising social media such as Facebook to challenge traditional banks. But with strong community and shareholder support, the Bendigo Bank is confident it will remain a key player.